This video will take you through the updates made to the HIC Area Calculator in OASIS version 21. For those less familiar, the HIC Area Calculator is our tool for interacting with pedestrian head impact results. You can find it from the Safety and Pedestrian menu. In this example, I've already read in a set of input blobs. You can see those on the screen there, and they come from a very simple text file. They're currently being coloured as per the Uri Cap regulation. However, in this burst, I want to show, the, show you the changes that we've made to our legal GTR R127 regulation, which you can select from the drop-down as shown. Once selected, the blobs change colour, representing the new regulation choice and the high and low settings accordingly. If we turn on the perimeter up at the top here, you'll see the difference from what we had in previous versions of the tool. We now have a separate windscreen zone as shown on the right hand side. The tool will automatically identify this zone based on the point names and their prefix. So if we turn on the names up here, we can zoom in and we can see that these are all prefixed with B. Uh, alternatively, you can use W. As before, we can use the button at the bottom of the panel to calculate the interpolated area between our input points. We now have the two bands for high and low HIC as per the inputs here, and all of this information is collated in the table in the middle of the panel. As before, we have a child and adult row, but now we have a bonnet row. This represents the combination of child and adult points and is the equivalent of the previous combined row. In addition to bonnet, we have an individual windscreen row, which represents the area as per the windscreen zone. And now the combined zone is the combination of bonnet and windscreen. To help clarify the calculation, hovering over the blue cell in the bottom right of the table gives detailed text breaking down the calculation into its component parts. It's possible to view the different zones in isolation using the drop down under the points tab. Here we can select from child, adult, bonnet and windscreen. So for the windscreen, we just see the windscreen zone. Likewise for the bonnet. For the child zone, the default behavior is to wrap the input points as shown on the screen here. However, it may be more accurate to manually define a line which is the junction between the adult and child zone. You can do that as a separate file that can be read from the Utilities tab. Here we can identify that child wraparound line and read it in as follows. It's drawn in grey and if we recalculate the area you can see that the tool when I show only the child area now uses the grey line instead of the wrapped input points which for some instances may be more accurate. And finally, to conclude this burst, I'd like to introduce you to the two new buttons that we've added to the points tab as shown on the screen. We have Query Point Data, which allows us to select a point on screen and have a summary of the input data presented as a pop-up. We also have Open Directories, which will open one or more points are selected on the screen in your file explorer. So in my example I just have some curve files but this could contain typically the input file, the diner files and anything else that may be saved pertaining to an individual point. Thank you.